Outside the city, vehicles and autonomous trailers are operating within safe and confined areas. Electric vehicles are charged while goods are loaded. A driver enters to lead the connected convoy onto the public roads, where dedicated bus lanes should be used if possible. Autonomous connected trailers create safe, modular, and flexible vehicle convoys adapting to transportation needs. Adjusting to schedule updates, the flexible convoy switching goods along the way, a mobile consolidation center. The transport system is enabled through an integrated cloud platform connecting vehicles, people, infrastructure, and logistic partners. In the city, the sensors of the autonomous refuse truck detect all movements in the vicinity of the environment and reacts automatically to any potential incidents, making sure citizens are safe and preventing accidents before they happen. Bus platooning will improve efficiency and capacity in city public transportation. With silent emission-free buses, we can bring public transport closer to people and even drive inside of buildings. This opens up completely new opportunities for city planning. And it all starts with just really understanding kind of the art of the possible, just changing the way that they think about their own departments. You're no longer the lighting department, you're the connectivity department, because that light pole needs to do more than just light. What if it had a small cell on it? Solve density issues for a new up and coming area in a city. So now all of a sudden, the lighting department's working with the transportation department. The concept of being able to combine a lot of those different franchises into a single unit is really, is something if I was to design a city, it would be intelligent enough to basically interact with its citizens and the government at the same time. So to me, an intelligent or smart city isn't so much about the type of technology or the type of connectivity that's being used, but it is about the fact that you've got data and information that's being shared across departments, from department to department, as well as back to the citizens and then back again. So it's almost like a ever-circling system, and eventually that makes the whole system even more efficient and effective and sustainable too.